Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back. Before that, I wish you a very happy new year. I wish a healthy and a very long and strong new year for you. So we are going to start off with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on the each side and then we are going to do our mandatory deep squat. Dynamic stretching routine. Two to five minutes every day before the workout is ideal before we start lifting any weights. If you prefer to, you may do a couple of minutes of cardio and that should be more than sufficient, at least before a workout. Post-workout, if you have time, you can definitely hit longer cardio sessions given that you have something to consume in between, maybe a protein shake with some carbs. I always do that just to make sure that I don't completely deplete my uh, glycogen levels. but that's regardless. So let's start with the first exercise where we're going to do lat pullover, three sets, 20 repetitions. Setup is pretty simple. Set yourself up by putting a, an inclined bench in front of the cable machine with a straight rod. You simply have to pull the cable over your head using your lats. So try to keep your hands as stationary as possible in terms of at least at the elbow joint so you don't want your elbow joint moving around because that would use your biceps and triceps to get the cable down so slightly bent but fixed and three sets 20 repetitions should get set you up properly for today's workouts you may do one or two sets as a warm-up just for 10 or 15 repetitions to set yourself properly but use as you can see it is a pretty easy way to do just an incline bench in front of the cable machine and the cable should be able to pull you all the way back. Remember that the tension should always be there. Never let the cable completely rest. It should always you always be pulling you. And from there, you pull it down using your lats alone. Post completing those, I moved on to the deadlift platform. Yes, we are doing deadlifts after a pretty long time. Going to start off with a very normal weight. Just four sets, six to eight repetitions. The first set I have done 10 repetitions. And before that, I just did a cup one, actually one set of warm up wherein I've done 12 to 15 repetitions to just get my blood flowing and get the my positioning right, my bar path right. And after that, the next four sets are the working sets. As the weight increased, I tried to keep my repetitions just around six to eight repetitions. Now, if you are not confident in a deadlift and you feel your form is not great and you're not able to figure it out, the alternative is to do a barbell or a dumbbell row, bent over rows which should suffice but i would recommend and it uh, encourage you to try the deadlift out it's not really complicated as people make it you can obviously use straps and gloves to make your life a little bit easier it's just about trying it out a couple of times and using it's half i would say it's all about your hinging movement if once you figure out your hinging movement it's a pretty easy exercise to do and a great exercise, a great compound exercise to hit multiple muscles because your legs are working, your hips are working, your back is working, your entire back, your upper lower back is working, your traps are working. So great way to start off the workout. I don't do it regularly. I do it once in a month just because I have enough good exercises to make up for that. Now post completing my deadlift, I set myself up for the cable row using the mag grips so these are new in my gym so i've been using them lately and they have been quite effective in terms of getting that wide stretch or making my job at least holding the bar a little bit easier because less effort on my biceps so simple exercise cable rows i prefer and i also encourage you to do the way i am doing where i'm using my complete spinal flexion wherein i go completely forward bend completely forward as i release the cable in front of me and make sure as you release the cable in front of you you still have tension in the cable the cable should still be pulling on you it shouldn't come to the complete rest and you should feel the stretch happening in your back muscles and as you pull it back up you slowly get back up straight and push your elbows behind your back now you can use a closer grip or a wider grip it is your preference shouldn't necessarily mean much in terms of at least building strength the pulling strength it would still almost give an equal amount of effort effort and effect to your entire back 
it depends which way you're comfortable yeah but neutral grip definitely helps me closer grip definitely makes me feel a lot more mid traps the wider grip makes me feel a little bit more on the outer areas and also in the lower lat region post completing the cable rows i moved on to seated shrugs with dumbbells oh three sets 20 repetitions heavy dumbbells slow and controlled shrugs I always do that. I try to go through the full range of motion in a controlled manner. Try to control the eccentric part, basically the lowering of the load part as much as possible. For shrugs, simply sit down on a bench, take two dumbbells, let them be beside your body. The cue is to try to get your shoulders up till your ears. Not possible, but the cue is that. So that way you can create maximum contraction in your trap muscles to pull them up. as you can clearly see how my back is working to get my shoulders up there if you want you can tuck your chin slightly forward for me it as i was completing my repetitions i felt a little bit uncomfortable so i just kept my head up but otherwise you can tuck your chin slightly forward to create that extra bit of tension in your trap muscles because you will be stretching your entire back muscles while trying to contract it with your shoulder while trying to bring your shoulders up so it will be more challenging but again keeping your head straight up isn't really bad so three sets of these 20 repetitions post that we move on to pull ups three sets as many repetitions as possible grip i prefer neutral grip you may choose to do a regular grip or a wider grip but for me neutral grip works fine can get some a little bit of bicep work done also but otherwise i'm mostly pulling with your with my lat muscles as you can see again prefer to go through the full range of motion try to control the eccentric part as much as possible so as i come down i come down completely de shrug and from there pull back up again and that gives me a lot of stretch in my lat muscles and also quite challenging because i was only able to get 6 to 8 repetitions each set and it was a struggle with all the amount of work we have already done by this exercise and that's it for today we are done with our exercising part we are going to finish off with simple back stretches the first one is basically placing your arms on the any kind of rack or a support and then slowly bending on each side creating that stretch in your lat muscles pretty easy exercise you can do it exactly as i'm doing it and as you do it you will figure out and you will feel the stretch so that will help you learn it better because as you see you might not understand what's happening but that is basically how we stretch our lat and after that i decided to just do a vertical hang now while doing a vertical hang it is ideal if you can take a wider grip creates a better stretch if you want you can add weight on to yourself but if not your body weight is absolutely fine to get the stretch going on and that's it for today we are done thank you so much for watching if you did like the workout and like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is highly appreciated thank you for watching i will see you in the next video meanwhile have a good year and have a good day thank you